Yes, I am so very happy. So Tark today, and I'm back with a Transformers review. Today I have Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Shockwave. I was actually able to pick this guy up on receive on restock day at my local Walmart, and in the box he comes in, he is packaged a uh, one Optimus, one Predaking, and two Shockwaves. So finally, Hasbro's learning how to package her stuff a little bit better. Hopefully this continues on. So first of all, let's take a quick look at the packaging. We have our, you know, standard Beast Hunters Voyager Class Shock, Voyager Class packaging. Got a Predaking on, Predi King on the side. We got our vehicle mode there. And I like this right here. There's a, a Tray Me feature in the packaging, which comes in very handy with the figure itself. On this side, we got a really nice art piece of Shockwave wearing his Beast Hunters armor. This side, we have our tech specs, the same piece of artwork. And our mini bio. Go ahead and pause if you want to read it. And on the back, we have our obligatory product shots. So, back to the big bad scientists of the Decepticons. I am really liking this modern rendition. It's very screen accurate. He's got really nice light piping. Oh, there we go. And he's really big, too. Uh, they got little picked out paint detailings here and there. You can really see the tech detail behind his chest. I really like that. His backpack is minimalistic, which is really nice. Let me go ahead and uh, bring in my size comparisons. First, let's start off with an Autobot. This is Generations Blur. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and bring in my other Shockwaves. This is Full of Cybertron Shockwave and <clears throat> Energon Shockwave. Well, six shot, but you know. You can see how the same styles just take over every time. Mainly the, the chest panel, the gun arm, and the style of the head, you know. Let's go ahead and talk articulation now. His head is on a nice, decent swivel. I would have liked it if it had an up and down, you know, going on, but it's all right. I really like the angular look on the head. That is really nice. His arms are on three 60-degree swivels, and the hand go in and out. Now, it's nice that this shoulder panel here is on a spring, so it will never get in the way. You have an upper arm swivel. You got a really nice, look at that, almost a backwards bending elbow. And a ball jointed wrist, but it really only goes back and forth like that. It's really tight. And there's a thin bit of plastic in there, so I'm kind of worried about breaking that eventually. The other arm, it's kind of the same. The upper arm, same articulation. But down at the bottom, you got the really nice elbow. So there you go. No waist articulation. And this is actually where one of the problems with him comes in. He has 360 degree swivels on his hips, but then the in and out is this, that, and that. And you can push it even further, but it's got, you know, very limited ratchet joints in there. So you're either stuck with stock standing straight up and down, or one off the side, and then you got to fiddle with everything else to get it all line up. Now just, ah, you have a really good knee bend, nice loud ratchets too, look at that, listen to that. You got a really good swivel going around, and then you got ankle articulation going on too. Now, the try me on the packaging was for this. This is a really good gimmick. I really like this. You know, it's those old spinny top things where you push the button and it spins. And these are on springs. So they open up. As long as it's spinning, they'll stay open. Now, when it comes to the Power Razor stuff, this would have been a good time to put in a Power Razor light-up bulb gimmick thing. You know, you push it and it actually glows. That would have been nice. But... Since the blast effect is made with clear plastic, it gets across the same effect. 
one time when batteries would have been li would have been nice. Um, mentioned the backpack earlier. It's nice and compact, just right up there, you know. But let's go ahead and talk about his accessories. His Beast Hunter armor. He comes with these weird rubbery claw things, and these really are more useful in vehicle mode. And you're gonna go ahead and peg them on up here like that and now this one I actually like this weird crab face cyclopean whatever thing that pegs right here into his chest and you know one reason I like this is for anyone who's uh, into the whole Lovecraftian horror thing, there's a character called Cthulhu, who's an ancient evil god creature, and this chess piece really does make it look like Shockwave has made a pact with Cthulhu. Ah, hey. Okay, I, I really like, I, I don't care so much for the claws, but I really do like the chess piece, but one thing you do with the claws is he's got a 5mm peg port here on his arm, so I just go ahead and peg that in there like that. And if they could have worked in a peg like that into the gun arm, that would have been a lot better. Something like that, you know? That would have been cool. But, hey. Go ahead and take these off. And if you'll excuse me for a moment, I need to get my other shockwaves transformed. Alright, I got the other figures transformed. Now, before I transform Shockwave here, I almost forgot to show you something. If you come back here to his backpack, you can see in this side here, in, in this side, it's hollow. But in this side, there's extra tread. And what you're going to do with that is you're going to pull that out, unpeg it and unfurl it, so you get this long, floppy tread going on. Pull the backpack back down. And take this part right here and peg it in right there like that. And that will recreate his hose from the show, which is really cool. Now, it does hamper his articulation because when you lift the arm up... Oh, actually, that's holding up pretty good. Sometimes the hose will pull down the arm. So, but it's, it's made out of a very strong rubber, so I really am not too worried about it's eventually wearing out or anything. And we only just unplug it. And then make sure this slot right here lines up with that tire. And you just sort of wrap it back around. Like so. Oh. Now you kind of do need to slide this bit here into this kind of groove up in here. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and get down to transformation of this guy. I'm going to start with the legs. First thing I want to do is come down here to the feet and slide them forward. Now that's a really tight joint. And it needs to be done, otherwise his vehicle mode won't look right. After you slide it forward, you just flip the feet forward like that. Okay, then you're going to come up here to the legs. You're going to spread his legs out. Then you're going to turn them like this. Twist his legs so they're facing forward like this. And bring them down. Just forward, bring them down. Okay. Then go ahead and pop his chest away. And then bring that down between his between his legs. Now, there's a couple of grooves here. A couple of uh, tabs here. That will slot into the legs. And to make sure that it all pegs together right. You really do want to make sure to uh, take the thighs and then twist them forward onto the pegs. Okay, and you can adjust everything later on when you get them to full vehicle mode. Take the backpack, fold down the spikes, 
and lift it up. Then take this arm, bring it underneath the vehicle mode, and make sure the uh, solar panel faces out to the side. Underneath the vehicle mode, and then this tab right here on his back will go into this port here in his wrist. And it's kind of annoying to get to line up, but there we go, like that. So it should end up looking like that. Okay. Then push the uh, gun arm away, and then you gotta slide these panels out of the way like that. And yeah, go just twist the head facing away, and then bring the other arm up like this. Yeah, twist the arm facing backwards like that, then bring it up, and then this rectangle port here goes right here onto his back, onto his chest, like so. Yeah. And then just gonna straighten out his back treads, and there you go, he's in vehicle mode. <clears throat> now, what's funny is that this vehicle mode is very screen accurate. Okay, not 100% screen accurate, but screen accurate enough. But it's still a lazy design. I mean, I like it. It's simple. It's still lazy. But then again, you know, if, if you're a scientist and it's all logical, it makes sense for him. Because it's really just, he needs wheels. He needs to go fast. His uh, gimmick still works. I'm sorry, that, that really is fun. He doesn't roll too terribly well, but then again, that could really be my table. He has a very asymmetrical profile, you know. There's a lot of things that are matching up, but then the guns and the arm and all that just... Eh. And of course, we can apply his crab armor. You can go ahead and put this back on his chest. And this is what I was talking about earlier on when I said the claws work better in vehicle mode because you peg them onto what are now his front tank treads, and now he looks like an evil robotic crab going on. This kind of works. This kind of works. So let's go ahead and get on to my uh, comparison shots. Let's compare him to Autobot Drift, same mold as Blur from earlier. And let's bring in his Dimensional Brothers. Here is Energon Shockwave. Or Six Shot, but same old as Shock Blast, which is Shockwave. And now full of Cybertron Shockwave. So yeah, that's a deluxe of course, but... These two guys aren't too bad in size scale, you know. This guy is noticeably bigger, but they're not too bad. So, this has been Takaday with a review of Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. Oh, and before I go, actually, I almost forgot. There's the giant bio right there. And there's the really cool artwork. Oh, yeah. There you go. Alright, like I was saying, review of Transformers Beast Hunter, Transformers Prime, Beast Hunter, Shockwave. If you can find him, pick him up. He's a great figure. Get him. Uh, word of advice, though, this gun arm can kind of pop out of the joint once in a while, so beware of that. Otherwise, great figure, really fun, better in route mode than vehicle mode, but get him. He's really fun. Get him.